We have just arrived to Simeone, I think it's called. Sorry uh, guys if uh, I'm hacking this up a little bit, but uh, look at these beautiful trees. Just gorgeous. Um, you can tell it's uh, fall is coming. Ricky's over there walking by the shore, but what's really unique about this place is that it is like this peninsula that jets right out into Lake Garda. Our goal today is to walk all the way down to the very end of the lake. Uh, they don't want cars going all the way through there, so it's something we need to walk. But I think it's gonna be very interesting and we'll see uh, what there is to see. Sermione is a beautiful peninsula town in northern Italy which became famous in the first century BC when wealthy families from Verona started to come on their holidays. The main attraction is definitely the Scaligero Castle which was built in the 13th century. Sermione is one of the most popular sites with thousands of visitors flooding each day to view the picturesque town. We tried to drive out to the point, but we couldn't make it because uh, they wouldn't allow cars to go any further. So we had to try to find parking and it was a bit of a hassle. We drove around, there was no spaces available, but we finally uh, found a larger parking area. It's 250 euro per hour and five euro per two hours. And then it just goes up from there. This is Lake Garda here. And we are like right here on this point and you can see how it just like sticks right up there. This gives you a larger map, but we are somewhere right here and we're going to be like walking all through here into this area. The Scaligero Castle is a simple castle with an enhanced view and is located at the entrance of the peninsula. It was built in the 13th century and it is one of the most complete and well conserved of Italy's castles. For just six euros entrance fee, you can go to the top of the highest tower and have a breathtaking view of Sermione and Lake Garda. Look at this castle, guys. It is so beautiful. And it's like, there's a, like a moat right here with boats in it, <laughs> parked right underneath it. The castle actually jets out into the water and then goes underneath it like a, like a bridge or something. It's like you walk underneath this sort of an entry area. Wow, look at this moat that goes around the castle. There's some fish in there too, look at that. I don't know if you can see it on the camera. But... Sermione is very small and takes about an hour and a half to visit all the sites. The stunning historical old town is quite charming with very narrow streets filled with quaint shops, cafes and restaurants. In the summertime, Sermione attracts many visitors and will be crowded. I suggest you stay in another city near the lake and come by boat during the day. Insanely beautiful here, but there are so many tourists. They're like everywhere. You can see it's so hard to even walk around. But we've got like uh, 17 more minutes to go. If you see that too well, here it is. 17 more minutes to get to the point. Look at all this beautiful dishware. It's so beautiful and artistic. Oh colors. yeah! Wow. The colors are gorgeous. Ah. This store, incredible. Yeah. They got love all this on the outside it. too. I'd love to take it with me. <laughs> we can't fit it in the suitcase. I know. <laughs> oh, look at this one. That's really artistic. Oh, yeah. So beautiful. We just came across this beautiful park, guys. You can see a little bit of peace and solitude from the crowds. Grotte di Cotulo is the remains of a large Roman villa. 
The building was built between the end of the 1st century BC and the beginning of the 1st century AD. If you travel to the end of the peninsula to Jamaica Beach, you will see Grotta di Catula at the top of the hill. From there, you will have truly breathtaking views and a panoramic sight of the lake. Inside Grotta di Catulo, there is a charming little museum which includes artifacts found during excavations. It is surrounded by meadows with old olive trees. If you buy an 8 euro ticket for Grotta di Catulo, the entrance to the museum is also included. We decided to go back because there was just so many tourists and it was just getting crazy. So uh, it's such a beautiful place though. You can see around me as I'm spinning around. Just a gorgeous place. It was so much to see even before getting to the, the very end. So uh, we want to get back. We're starting to get hungry too. So we're going to head back, uh, drive to a little uh, restaurant, probably an Italian restaurant. And yeah, to, a what? Trattoria. 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 And we're going to grab a bite to eat. Let's go. We are lost, guys, trying to get back. It's like a maze here. Um, you know, you don't know which way to turn. And uh, it looks like we might be able to get back over this way, but it's a race to get back to the car. So uh, let's see what happens. Oh, this is open here. Just landed at a beautiful little restaurante. Got us some wine and uh, they gave us these little toasties with it. Yeah. And this stuff too, it's I like a... I don't know what that is, but... Yeah, it's like a little spread. <laughs> Looks pretty good. Yeah, like a cheese spread. We'll try it out. But uh, we're waiting for our pizza to yes. arrive. Nice we spicy have worked up, pizza. <laughs> yeah, we have worked up a uh, appetite. Yeah. But um, I was so glad to get out of there. Uh, it was nice to go through, but it was so very many, touristy. Oh, so many tourists. Beautiful area, though. Yeah, very yeah, beautiful. Just so nice. Um, but if you're gonna go, I would go very early. Try to beat the crowds. And uh, yeah, how's that wine, Ricky? Actually, quite nice. Magnifico. <laughs> what is it? Magnifico. Magnifico. <laughs> Our pizzas have arrived, guys, and that was so you quick. You had it yourself. Yeah, it was so quick. It was. It was so super fast. I could only eat like a half of one of these, and then all of a sudden it, it was, was here. Out. Yeah. <laughs> But it looks really good, doesn't it? It does. Pepperoni. Yeah, very uh, nice. Mozzarella, tomato sauce. Mm -hmm. Are you ready for the tasting? <laughs> yes, I am. The uh, you know the pizza crust here is what really makes the pizza. The flour they use in Italy is just very special. Mmm. Mmm. Really good. Very thin but very cheesy and uh, delicious. Top it off with a gelato. Yes, a nice Italian gelato. Man, this gelato is I'm the best. I'm already halfway through mine. So. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we are on our way to Parma but we're yeah. going to stop in a little town uh, at a hotel and just relax yeah. for the night. Parma is where they have all the Parmesan cheese. Yes. So we're looking forward to that. It's one yeah. of my favorites. Yeah, and I know so... she's looking forward to it because she loves Parmesan cheese. I am into cheese. <laughs> it's her favorite. So, <laughs> yeah. And then after that, we'll be going to the Chicken Terra. Yes, we're really looking forward to the Cinque Terre. So we're working our way down to Naples. That's the plan, guys. We will see you later. Bye. Signing off. Thanks, guys, for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, make sure you like and hit that subscribe button and the little notification bell so you can be notified whenever we get a new video that comes out. Anyway, we'll talk to you next time. Bye.